The experiments with my thermoacoustic stirring engine are leading to higher and higher performances. The development of the engine is still in its beginning and I haven't tried out many optimization possibilities yet. My aim is to generate some measurable electrical power to get a fast comparison for improvements. It is therefore necessary to choose a generator concept that can be used as flexibly as possible to study the interaction with the acoustic circuit. I was very surprised that the new acoustic power sterling, with its first still very provisional setup, started right away and made a very powerful impression. Improved active cooling and a much larger working cylinder with a cast iron piston have dramatically improved performance. For the first time it was possible to experiment successfully with piston damping. I still work with very little heat and by briefly raising the temperature of the heater, the Stirling engine runs for 5 to 10 minutes without further heat input. The heat exchangers are designed for much higher temperatures and working gas pressures, but much modification and experimentation is still required before they can be fully used. Direct measurement of the oscillation frequency of the piston gives a deviation from the pressure sensor reading of a few percent, which is probably due to the manual measurement and is okay. The thermoacoustic Stirling engine runs with noticeably different stability depending on the depth of the piston in the cylinder. Initial tuning to adjust the resonance frequency results in a much more powerful damped body. There is also huge potential for optimization in terms of emergence and compliance. With the performance achieved here, it is now finally possible to drive a generator. A linear generator is a very elegant way of generating electrical energy. I have already started to turn a small coil body and bought suitable power magnets with the appropriate electronics. There are still many unanswered questions for me. Making a linear generator with good efficiency is quite complex. Is using an off-the-shelf linear motor an option? Can sufficient electromagnetic attenuation be achieved or do additional mechanical components such as springs need to be provided? Is it possible to start the later closed pressurized engine with a linear generator without extensive control engineering? I could really use your help on these questions, so please write your suggestions and help in the comments or on Discord. Using a loudspeaker is a simple solution and with a signal generator and amplifier it should be possible to start the engine. The selection of the speaker, which has its own frequency and must be in tune with the Stirling engine, is something I have no experience of. This probably makes the loudspeaker concept inflexible, so I would be very happy to get your help here also. My self-built bidirectional impulse turbine is also a very elegant and low maintenance option, but not so well suited for the first series of tests due to its less flexible setting options. I will apply the turbine from time to time, however I will not seriously develop that concept until really usable, higher performance is achieved. The classic push crank mechanism offers the greatest flexibility for different settings and is very easy to set up. The stroke can be changed quickly and electric motors with different characteristics can be used. Starting the closed Stirling engine is also no problem. However, this option is not very elegant with its many moving parts and it takes up a lot of space, which is unfavorable when the engine is closed and under pressure. Which generator concepts do you think offer the most advantages for the upcoming optimizations? As always, I would love to hear your opinions, suggestions, help and criticism in the comments or on Discord. Thanks for watching.